built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then what else? Because it's Arduino, the shields will work. Uh huh. You know, that there's what, Right, right, right. So the... Hello. Okay. Very cool. Alright, well, I won't keep I you. Thank you. Huh? What's that? Can I get a sticker? Go. Go for it. These, like free? these are free, right? Thank you. Yep. Yeah, you can just buy these on Amazon, right? Because I've wanted to you know for my last birthday. You can buy them on Amazon or you can get them here for free. He's taking random video right now. Edibot. So if the yellow object gets too close, it backs up. Oh, uh, okay. Chase it around. Oh. Well, it's sort of got a mixed, um, mixed uh, personality, right? Yeah. There's no difference. Inside. Yeah. Cool. What else do you have? Uh, so a couple of things. So this is hosting a a uh, game server. Uh huh. Um, so these, these guys are right here playing on it. On oh, I see. Um, so it's hosting an access point. You can wow. connect to it and insert to a video game on your browser. Um, oh wow! And then this is the Google Science Journal. Oh. Tempest. expect for three letters on an arcade? Intel I'll give Edison. you three guesses. Pretty tiny. I have more than three <laughs> letters. <laughs> when you were there, whatever you can program it, um, it'll chase the yellow ball. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm holding the yellow ball and keeping the good part oh, away. Oh right, it chases the yellow ball. So this one's also using an Intel Edison. I used Python on this one uh, and using images from a web camera to look for a ball. So what does it, um, what does it cost? What's that? Uh, the Edison itself is 50. Uh -huh. um, but then you have to buy boards on top of it to actually make it useful. So the cheapest way you can do it is with the base block, which is this one down here. And I think we sell that for 25. Um, there's also other Intel boards you can buy with it. And then SparkFun makes other boards that expand the functionality. So it's, um, okay, so these things are to do what? Uh, these block, these boards here give it some functionality. So this first one here is an analog to digital converter. I don't have anything plugged in here, yeah, that's but I could okay. put a sensor in, like a light sensor or a temperature sensor, and then uh -huh. get that data into the Edison. Oh. Uh, the next one is the base block. This one gives it power, and you can also talk to your computer with it. Uh -huh. uh, so a serial terminal out, that's how you would program it or send it files. Um, and then this one down here is a GPIO. Uh, this is actually sending digital data to show, um, to display information and on And what is LCD. the programming interface? Um, whatever you want. I, I used uh, XDK, so this was an Intel IDE, uh, to program this one. Uh -huh. um, I believe I programmed this one just in Notepad and then sent it Python files directly, and then just, I just ran them from How the, long has this been out? A little over a year. Huh. So end of 2014 they released it. Oh. Hmm. Um, and then Mike over here also has another demo with the Edison, okay. um, also using vision processing um, and some other controls. So, um... Hmm. Interesting. Cool. The hundreds of megahertz um, mm -hmm. able to do computational power much, much, much faster. I so see. an Arduino uh, would never be able to do this in any sort of reasonable speed. Mm -hmm. uh, be able to find where an object is in space. Uh, so that's that's power for something like a computer. What um, Logitech? And how how about? So you have a Logitech camera interacting with it. How about drivers and stuff like that for other things? I mean... So this worked almost out of the box uh, because the most recent Linux kernel comes with a lot of USB camera drivers. Oh, okay. luckily, luckily those worked. Uh oh, okay. luckily those worked out of the box. Um, and it uses Linux. Correct. Oh. So it's running a custom version of Linux called. It's based on the Yakko project. That one as well. Yes. How much memory does it have? Um, so it has four gigabytes of non-volatile space, hard drive space, basically, uh -huh. and I believe a gigabyte of RAM. Wow. I would expect correctly. Pretty awesome. And 500 megahertz dual core. Hmm. Cool.